Scenic Hotel Group, a place to stay no matter your staycation. From the legacy collection for those special occasions to Heartland Hotels with room for the whole Farno. Find your place to stay at scenichotelgroup.co.nz. Let's bring in, uh, I'm told, blues hooker, Kurt Eklund. Uh, Kurt, thanks for taking our call on what I understand is a pretty crowded bus with all your teammates. Um, what sort of shape do you reckon the Blues are in heading into game one of 2023? No, nah, everyone's pretty excited, mate. They're looking forward to um, getting out there and getting onto the track for the first time. Couple so, of, um, yeah. yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. A couple of warm-up matches, uh, as is always the case. Uh, what do you try to get out of warm-up matches? Is there much you can get out of them before the season proper? Yeah, 100%. I think everyone's just, you know, looking forward to getting a bit of contact and all that sort of stuff and trying to get through pretty unscathed so we can run into it. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, just pretty much getting that contact hit out and getting a bit of a blow on and, you know, I suppose that confidence and, yeah, hitting rucks. So, yeah. How driven are the Blues after coming so close to winning the title last season? Oh, mate, there's a lot of motivation around camp at the moment and I think it's going to linger for the rest of the season. And like you untouched on there, only um, coming second last year, you know, makes everyone want to work there a little bit harder to do it right next, oh, this year. So now we're looking forward to it. I know you're mainly looking ahead, but when you do reflect back on 2022 and the amazing season that the Blues had, what were some of the reasons behind that consistency? Um, I think like the um, bulk of the players have been around and playing together for the last few years now. And so just um, finding those um, connections and all that sort of stuff, you know, the boys are really like uh, hitting their stripes and um, I know, been enjoying themselves as well. You know, we had a, had a lot of fun and do have a lot of fun with each other. So um, that's been good. You've been around the side for what, three or four seasons now. So did, did it feel different last season? Yeah, it felt pretty good. Eh? The boys, are, um, yeah, everyone got on board and <laughs> like uh, we've got at the moment the boys are giving me a bit of stick so um, you know everyone's enjoying each other's company and I think that really helps along the way they're probably just pleased the phone got handed to you and not one of them I would imagine uh, uh, to, to, do, yeah. to do the interview um, tell us about I don't know if you can see him from where you're sitting but tell us about Dalton Papali'i's leadership of this side oh Dalton Papali'i I can see him from here um, no nah, he's a good bloke I think um He's coming to his own. He's really um, matured in the last couple of years, and I think he's starting to settle down a little bit. So, uh, no, we're pretty happy for him and happy for him to be leading the team as well. And do you have a, a leadership role to play in this side as well, Kurt? Um, oh, I just try and, yeah, just do my best. and um, not, not per se, but, um, you know, when, uh, yeah, not per se, but try to try to when I can. This team of yours is stacked, man. You just got to look at the the lineup and you know all of the familiar faces and and the way you guys played last year. The fact you've won your last four games against the Highlanders, it must be challenging to avoid complacency, or or, or is it not really? Yeah, I think there's um, you know sometimes that can always sneak up on you, the bit of complacency there. But you know, I think we've um, spent a lot of time together um, and trying to you know keep that um, in the back door. So. We really don't want that to creep in because, you know, that can be the biggest um, biggest fault of the team. So, no, we're just trying to stick to our straps and get through it. And 100th uh, Super Rugby game tonight for one of your front row mates, Nepo Laulala. Do, do those milestones kind of factor into your preparation at all? Yeah, 100%. It was uh, mentioned on earlier on in the week and the boys have been getting around him. So we'll go out there tonight and hopefully get out a performance that um, we can make him proud of and enjoy it afterwards. And just as far as your particular position is concerned, I mean, hookers very rarely play 80 minutes these days, and you usually start for the Blues. Do you have a set idea before the game or even during it when you're going to be coming off? Nah, not so much, mate. You just get out there and just hold on for as long as you can, mate. And, uh, <laughs> your coach is Jake here when you look at the puff, so we'll see how we get on. All right. Well, uh, all the best against the Highlanders tonight. I know you've got other things to do, and uh, you'll be pleased to get off this call with everybody giving you a bit of jib. So thanks for chatting to us, mate, and uh, yeah, and yeah. all the best for Game 1. No, good on you, mate. Sorry if there's a little bit of uh, riffraff going on in the background there, but <laughs> no, good to talk. 
Hello, I'm Francesca Rudkin. And I'm Louise Erie. And we're excited to be working with the New Zealand Herald on our new podcast, The Little Things. So Louise and I have been friends for oh, probably over 13 years now. And we've been through it all. Kids, relationships, health crises, menopause. Let's not get into that just yet. But I think we can both agree that there are times we just wish we had one place to go for some explanations on what's going on with our bodies, our kids, and the relationships in our lives. And this podcast is all about those little things that women need to know about getting old older, raising kids, staying healthy and taking care of yourself at whatever age and stage you're at. So join us every Saturday to hear from the experts and get all the advice and tips you need. Listen to The Little Things at nzherald.co.nz or follow us at iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.